What's up guys, another video here, Embers Golf, one of the probably most popular game improvement irons of 2023 was the Aerojet irons. Yes. So now it's 2024 and we have the new and improved Cobra game improvement iron. Trevor, unveil it. What are we talking about? The dark side. The, the dark dark's... speed. The dark, dark the side dark, is what? The dark side. Duck? Yeah. These are for Sith Lords only. Only a Sith is an absolute. So these are gonna be game improvement irons. If you're a high handicap weekend warrior, this is the type of iron you're gonna need. It's the dark Let's speed. go, let's talk about it. Yeah. Boom, baby! Don't forget guys, if you're in Colorado and you need anything in the golf world, come by, see us, get fitted for some clubs. We got big brands, we got Callaway, TaylorMade, Cobra, Mizuno, Srixon, LA Golf, Bettinardi. We have everything you could need. And then if you're not in Colorado, shoot us an email at what you're looking at. Yep. Right here, our email address, golf at emberslivingcom And then up there, text or call us. And Trevor and I, my, ourselves, will check and see if we have something in stock We'll for personally you. Write, back, write you back. Yeah. But here's the thing. We're only missing the brands, Titleist and Ping. We've gotten everyone to come on board because we're awesome. No, that's not why. That's but probably not it. That's not it. Yeah. But anyways, we're getting pretty close to being a full-blown golf shop here. Yeah. So, side note, how much am I gonna get roasted in the comment section for wearing a Tiger Woods sweater? You're gonna get roasted. Yeah, I, knew, I know I am. But it looks good, so. I quick bought some Tiger Woods apparel before all the Nike stuff sells out because I love Nike and I love Tiger Woods, so. It's a great combination. All right, should we tech talk a little bit yeah. and then we're gonna actually hit them? Yeah. So obviously with a game improvement iron, there's gotta be a lot of technology or some technology at least, at least inside the club head itself that's gonna help um, high amateurs get that forgiveness that, that they need when they're hitting toe balls, heel balls, thin balls, high balls. There's gonna be tech in here. So let's- Sky let's, balls. Yeah. So there's really two things that are important. Thinnies, wormies, Thinnies, scullies. fatties, <laughs> you name it. Yeah. This club can solve all those problems. Yeah. Maybe, we don't know. Maybe. There's two things w w that we must, must happen when uh, we need a game improvement iron. We need distance, we need help with yardage. Yeah. And we need the ball to get in the air. Yeah. Which is gonna help it go far. Yep. By the way, side note, if you're interested in any of these products, give us first shot at the business. It helps us promote videos like this. Little side note there. Okay, first of all, let's we got a nice big picture here. Aesthetically, I think a huge improvement over the Aerojet, don't you think? No, I think so for sure. It's gorgeous. You know, got rid of those funky colors. Now it doesn't it's look black. like a big cavity back, chunky, no. hideous club either. What, what, what color would you describe this outer? Shell. Almost like a gunmetal. Yeah, it's really cool. I like it a lot. Okay, let's get down to technology. Head shape, it's not too big, it's not too fat. Like I said, it's got a nice, smooth background. I got it, I can do it. Okay. Okay, hollow body construction. Let's, can we pause it there? No. Doesn't pause, look at that. So hollow body, we got this little insert here. We'll talk about, it's called see. the power bridge. So hollow body irons obviously create that nice trampoline effect and all hollow body irons really help with distance. So yeah. that's kind of a given that this thing's gonna be a hollow body. Yeah. And then we have a hot face. So kind of like their drivers, we have an AI designed hot face. So this is gonna help create ball speed off the face of the club, which is also yeah. gonna help promote distance. Yep. And then here's that power bridge Tate was talking about. Talk to me about the power bridge. Yes, yeah, so the power bridge is gonna be almost like a weight that's floating inside of there. So that way when you hit the ball in any of that region, because that's where most impacts are gonna happen, it's gonna give you a flex in there like that trampoline effect, which is gonna promote ball speed and distance, which is probably the thing that amateurs struggle with most is, is they're not striking it pure and that punishes you for distance in most clubs. So a game improvement club like this club here is gonna help you out a ton with that. And it does have a polymer fill, kind of like PXG, huh? Yeah. And what is that gonna be for? So What's that helps the with sound complaint? and feel and vibrations. Yeah, when so you have a game improvement club. They sound clicky, they can no. feel clicky. That was one of the one things I loved about the Aerojet and why it's one of my favorite game improvement irons is um, it didn't feel very clicky. It didn't have that really terrible feel that a lot of game improvement irons, you done? Have, so. I'm ready to hit. Okay, real quick. It has its work cut out for it for two reasons. This is why I'm really curious to hit it. Reason number one, we just reviewed the Cleveland XL launchers. Yeah, those, those are no joke. And those puppies are, those are some sick puppies. Yeah. 
we'll include the link to the video that has his work cut out for it to beat those. Yeah. And number two, it's gonna have its work cut out for it to beat the Aerojet. Also, I didn't talk about this on the website, but I know that this helps with turf interaction. See, it's almost like, it's not like a flat bottom. It's yeah. almost got like a little curve Constant to it. Constant curve to it. But let's hit some and, and yeah. see Well, see should we talk price do. quick? 999, so it's right in the ballpark. Yeah. We still have to review the new QIs, the Paradigms, some of those game improvement irons, but it's sitting right priced with all the other ones, except the Cleveland launchers, which are a couple hundred dollars cheaper, which is why they're awesome. Yeah. All right, Tate's gonna go first. Man, I just checked the specs. That's a 27 degree seven iron. Holy cow. Holy cow. That's our like seven irons are, our gamers are 33. Yeah. Tour, tour pros playing about a 34 degree. So it's really playing more like a five or six iron. Yeah. But man, with that strong of a loft, we'll see how much it can get in the air. We have the full fitting kits here. So we can do a full fitting session here in the showroom. So we have our gamer shafts and everything. So this is yeah. all dialed in for our specs. Tell me how it felt. It actually thoughts. felt really soft. Yeah. It was soft and then it didn't have that click. No, it didn't, it didn't sound bad. It sounded good. No. So like Trevor and I have talked about the biggest thing that I have problem with game improvement irons, even when I'm with somebody that's gaming these kind of irons is that click on every shot. It's almost like how, how can it be a good shot when it sounds like that? And I know that's, I don't know, that probably doesn't make any sense, but in my head, that's what I think. So when you, and when you have a, a soft thud like that, sound wise and feel, it's encouraging. It's two in a row on the green. Yeah. My seven iron is gonna be usually like a 175 carry with 6,000 spin, just over 6,000 spin. 6,500 maybe on a, on a good strike. We set the green at 200 yards. And by the way, we're at altitude. So we're at 5,280 feet. That's what we do our testing at because we're a mile high. We're in Denver. So before you guys give us a bunch of crap about how far we're hitting it, we're at least 10 to 15% higher than sea level, easy. Okay, is that five in a row on the green? That's five in a row, but I think we should, instead of going like on drivers, we'll usually do a full send at the end of a session. On this one, let's do shapeability. Okay. So I'm gonna try and hit a draw here. Well, that's a thin pull, but it yeah. did it. All right, fade? Yep, fade me. I can get it to work both ways. All right, Trev, when you stand over your seven iron, what specs are you hoping to see? Um, I'm hoping to see like a 180 carry, 40 degree descent angle, and about 5,000 RPMs. I'm a little low on my spin, but. Oh, it does feel soft. It's even that sound. It sounds and that really was way soft. out on the toe. Yeah, it felt good. What I'm curious about, and we'll see, hopefully I can get one is um, sometimes with these game improvement clubs, when you actually center one, I mean like right right in the sweet spot, I mean that sucker. Flies. Sayonara. Yeah. There, there we go. There you go, that's the one. That might be in the hole. Kick left, come on. 189 yard carry. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. That's Just why they call it. you the smoke show, huh? That's why they call me the smoke show. I actually don't know what that expression means. <laughs> they call, no, they call me the smoke so, show because of my Tiger Woods sweater. Yeah. Boom, baby! No, that's all toe. That's so far on the toe, it's not even funny. Let's watch this. 183 yards. Couldn't have been a worse shot, ball strike. Look at that. Oh. I'm off the grooves. My God. Oh my goodness. And look at that, 167 yard carry. That's a forgiving club, I'll say. Yeah. All right, let's shape, let's shape a couple. What do you want? Uh, let's start with a fade, since that's your harder heart. He doesn't hit a great fade anymore. <laughs> that's more like a No, it's definitely open. fading. It is a push fade. It's easy to do when you're trying to play a fade because your face is open. Yep, 200 yard fade. Yeah. That's crazy. You can move oh, the yeah, ball. It's definitely spinning right. Look at that, 12 degrees spin right. Okay, you want me to draw one? Yeah, let's hit a draw now. 
Uh, I better stop. All right, Trevor, there you are. There in the pink, the bottom. Okay, ball speed is 118 miles an hour, so that's fast. It's fast ball speed, so the face is, is going fast. The launch angle is not bad, 15 degree launch. Spins a little low, but that's because of how strong lofted it is. And I like to be at least at 40 degree descent angle. It's at 35, so it's close. And of course, it's carrying 184 going 203. A little far for me. But again, for a player that needs speed and needs help with distance, this club delivered on it for sure. Yeah. And I'm actually surprised my descent angle isn't lower. I thought I'd be 30 or below because yeah. it should play like a five iron. Right. Okay, so I roasted this, this club. So 121 ball speed, that's pretty good. 13 degree launch angle, which is low, but again, it's because it's such you a strong ball loft. Low. You hit I it low. I compress anyway. down on the ball super hard. 4,000 spin, that's actually not bad. I thought it was gonna be lower than that with the loft of this and a 32 degree descent angle. Again, I'm not upset with that. 191, 210 finish, so that's pretty good. Let's quick do this. Yeah, look oh. at where I was hitting my ball. I just don't have good ball striking today which means it was a good test to do it. I'm over the top, Trevor's outside in. But this was a good test to see when you don't got your stuff and you're way out on the toe of the club, what, yeah. what's it gonna do and it, it's... What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do, do when you come for, for you? you? Bad boys, bad boys. Nice. So it performed really well. Look at Tate's dispersion. He was hitting it a lot better than me. Yeah. Look how tight that is. I mean, I think he was like five out of six on the green. Yeah. So. I mean, that looks like the shape of a green. Yeah. Okay, so we got final take on the dark speed. We've hit them, we've looked at the data, we know the price, we know the technology. Thoughts, go. Uh, bullet points, it impressed me that it got in the air. Yep. We already knew it was gonna get far. Yep. But it impressed me that it got in the air. Yeah. And it didn't feel clicky. Yeah. But I kind of thought it wasn't gonna feel clicky because the Aerojet did a really good mm -hmm. job with that. Yeah. Is it better than the Aerojet? Um, I think so. I think aesthetically it's it leaps and bounds more attractive. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, they, they, they hit this one out of the park. Aesthetically, it's one of the best looking uh, game improvement irons I've ever seen. Yeah, and here's the other thing is I feel like most game improvement guys are new into golf in the relatively year, few years. This is gonna be their first brand new iron set and they're after something that looks really cool. This generation yeah. that's coming into golf and this hits that bill. Yep. Great job. So. I think it's incrementally better than the Aerojet. I think if you, while there's still inventory left, if you can get a great deal on an Aerojet iron, that's not a bad way to go. Yeah. But these are certainly no. No, and they look fantastic. They're gonna be a top five. We're gonna have our top five review coming. For game improvement for irons. For game improvement irons, and I already know these are gonna be in there. Yeah. We still have a few more to test, so we can't say definitively yet, but um, these are exceptional. Real quick Are pull. they as good as the Cleveland? Ooh, don't, that will Don't say. Don't we'll say. have to put head to head in the simulator. Should Don't we just say. make a video on that? Maybe. What's your pull? Um, should I dumb and dumber the crap out of Trevor's legs while he's walking away from me? <laughs> no. Don't. Let us know if I should do that. That'd be funny. We'll see you guys next time.